parents and guardians. My name is Kim Van Sickle, and I will be your student's eighth grade language arts teacher. I'm very happy to see students' faces in places within the building and this classroom again. It has been a long, dry spell, and in order for a school to be thriving, we need to have our students back. So I am so thrilled to see them back here. However, I know this year looks different. It feels different and it will be challenging at times, specifically with regards to communication and information. If your household is like mine, you're being bombarded with information at every angle. So my objective for students and parents and guardians is to have a one-stop shop location for all contact information for assignments, due dates, announcements, and that's in the daily classroom slides. The best way to access the daily classroom slides is through a link that I will provide in an email to you with the subject line, Vans First Quarter Daily Classroom Slides. Once you click on this link, I would recommend that you bookmark it and refer to it if you have any questions regarding your students' progress or assignments that are due, upcoming dates, events, and announcements. There's a lot of information in our language arts daily classroom slides. So once you click on that attachment, you will come to this opening slide where if you click on the, this hyperlink, Mrs. Van Sickle's ELA classes, you will be taken to the eighth grade hub. You can see a brief profile about me, teaching philosophy, some fun facts. And to click on my policies for grading, what we're working on this year, what skills we'll be focusing on, what we have a zero tolerance for, what homework will look like, what the grading policy is in this class, and other ways to reach out to me will be launched from, again, this document, the Daily Classroom Slides. And if you arrow forward, you can see all of the content that has been covered up through the present date. And last but not least, we will be covering reading, writing, grammar, sentence structure, conventions. But what is most important are these skills back here. Creativity, communication, critical thinking, collaboration, consideration, and contribution. I would also like to add connectedness. Even though we are separated by a layer of masks, it's important that we still reach out to one another and we, and we remain connected. These skills are important because they are employable skills. These are the skills that employers are looking for. So let's say four, eight, 12 years down the road, your fully grown student has landed a job. These skills are what are going to keep your student employed. The ability to creatively think, to critically think, to collaborate with others, to work well with others, to connect with others, to communicate verbally and on the written page. I wanna thank you again for your dedication and your contribution to your students' language arts education. And if there's ever anything that I can assist you with, please don't hesitate to call me or to email me. Thank you and good night.